all set to go and racing away in the South African Oaks. Francis Ethel began well along the inside Mount Etna towards the outside is my soulmate Darling Harbour in a prominent position and be real also looking for the lead on the far outside beating wings is about six lengths off the leader here's Silver Sanctuary racing towards the rear but two behind her let's go now is just passing her actually and the back marker is Azalea's for all as they go to the top of the back straight and they go towards the 2000 meter marker and be real is the one that sets the gallop in the Bridget Oppenheimer SA Oaks, leads it by a length or so, but Explosive Bond finds the pace not suiting her, so she's going to challenge for that lead. My Soulmate is back in third with Darling Harbour in fourth position, only three lengths off the leader. Two lengths away on the outside, beating wings, and then we go back to Francis Ethel, now in the colours of Team Valor International, racing about six lengths off the leader. Two lengths away to Let's Go Now on Mount Etna, further back to Azalea's for All, and Richard Faria has dropped Silver Sanctuary to the back end of the field and she'll have to come from about eight or nine lengths back in the final leg of the Filkerbos Drift South Africa Triple Tiara. They go to the far turn. They've got 1,400 metres left to go and Be Real is the leader in the Oaks. Led it by three quarters of a length from in second, Explosive Bond. In third is Darling Harbour, my soulmate, a scrub of the reins in fourth position is followed by Francis Ethel up along the inside. Then Beating Wings, the red and black colours. That race is five, six lengths off the leader with Mount Etna. It's a compact field in the Oaks that it's about to turn for home. Let's go now. It's got seven lengths to make up with Silver Sanctuary and Azalea's for All is now the new back marker as they round that turfentain turn here in Johannesburg for the Fulkerbos Drift, Bridget Oppenheimer, SA Oaks, final leg of the Triple Tiara and 800 metres left to go and it's Be Real that led them in with Explosive Bond and Darling Harbour has also taken issue with them. There's a three-way go for the lead now. Three lengths away behind that came Francis Ethel towards the outside is my soulmate Silver Sanctuary in the meantime has made up huge ground down the center only got two and a half lengths to make up let's go now towards the outside with beating wings they've got 400 meters left to go and Pierre Stratum strikes the front on the outside on my soulmate with Francis Ethel Silver Sanctuary's down the center beating wings is progressing then came let's go now on Mount Etna as they run inside the final 250 Francis Ethel picks up the lead in the Oaks here Francis Ethel from my soulmate Silver Sanctuary's under big pressure in third Francis Francis Ethel, my soulmate, is trying to get back level on terms. Francis Ethel in the Oaks is going to pull it off here. Yeah. And Francis Ethel goes on to win the final leg of the Triple Tiara. From my soulmate, Silver Sanctuary, third beating wings. Then came Explosive Bond. Let's go now. Be real. And that fourth placing will go the way of beating wings. Have a look at the head-on replay. Well, Pierre did everything that he could on my soulmate in the colors of Fast Fontaine Stud. We saw these colors win half an hour earlier with Sandringham Summit. But here is number five, Frances Ethel from the stable of Brett and James Crawford. She's now having her fifth career run and she's won four out of them. A very progressive daughter of Rafif. She's out of the four to admit Daphne Garland and the winner of the Fulkerbos Drift, Bridget Oppenheimer, SA Oaks, Grade 2, it's Francis Ethel. Right, so that was the running of race number five, Vilko Bostros, Bridget Oppenheimer, SA Oaks, in the last leg of the Triple Tiara. We certainly uh, are uh, relishing the championships here today, and uh, of course, the Triple Tiara series itself has been amazing. We're going to see the, the winner of the first two legs a bit later. Give me another, but the winner of this leg is uh, a gentleman I call King KB. He's earned his name once again. King KB, Kabila Masunyane, congratulations. A winner by any measure aboard Francis Ethel. This, this horse is held in high regard by the Crawford Yard. Yes, yes, she certainly held a very good um, um, ability that she, she shows at work and the way she's been progressing in races. You know, today was a big test for her. It was a real test to show how good she is and she, she did everything right today. Her ability is definitely good. It seems like you guys connect on a different level because when you ride this horse, we expect these kinds of performances. This horse came fancied, but uh, not like that. I mean, that was a f some performance. When did you realize that you had it in the bag? Well, look, I always knew that Marcel was bred for the trip. I knew that she can stay all day. And, um, you know, every run that she's had, she's improved. And, you know, today the pace was a little bit sedated. And um, I was opted to move a little bit earlier than I wanted. But as soon as I actually got her to unwind, she... She was game and she was in action already. 
and um, it was just a matter of getting to the front and just sustaining the lead. And of course you had one eye on Silver Sanctuary, the one that was fancied to win on this one, but uh, Francis Ethel's quality was not denied. Well, it's definitely not denied. Um, I could feel that uh, Silver Sanctuary was moving up on my inside, but my horse was very gutsy and she showed a lot of heart. She fought back and, you know, she, keep fight she kept fighting to the line. Where to from this horse, or for this horse? I mean, this horse looks like it can't go wrong. Well, at the moment, we, I mean, touch wood, uh, nothing wrong goes, but she, she's showing um, a lot and she's improving by every start. Um, we'll see in the future, check out the program, see which races we can aim for. But from here, it's upwards from here. Well, I must say hello and welcome to our satellite, satellite viewers that have just joined us. This, of course, is a World Pool event, and you're, you're kicking it off in fine, fine fashion. King KB, that, that nickname is going to stick eventually. Congratulations to you. You are the winning, uh, winning uh, jockey aboard Francis Ethel. Well done. Thank you very much once again. We've got new owners on this horse. Well done to them, um, to the whole connection. Big thanks for the opportunity and to many more winners, to James, to Mr. Crawford. Big thanks to them for, for always believing in me and giving me the chances and to my sponsors uniform as well. Big thanks to them. Fantastic. Another group two for uh, We've got Mike Sharkey there. He's going to give you a trophy. Mike Sharkey from uh, Wilkowatz Rift and Morris Fontaine. They bred this wonderful, wonderful horse, Francis Ethel. Congratulations to them as well. Uh, breeding a champion here on Champions Day. And uh, we've got James Crawford. Uh, great scenes here. Hugging uh, King KB. We've got Brett, uh, Brett Crawford and James. James, you've spoken very highly of this horse. And anybody who listened to how you've spoken about this particular runner would have backed it and supported it well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, you know, like if you, if you just followed her progress as long as, as she's broken her maiden, I mean, I, I stepped up in some strong fields where, you know, she had to do the, she had to get the job done and it was never going to be easy every time I stepped up and, you know, she always just uh, mustered it up and found the best on the day. So, yeah, I must just give full credit to the filly. Um, you know, she's a filly full of ability and, you, you know, we, we look like a, we've got a very good, bright future ahead of us. Um, to obviously to Dalen for sending me the filly, um, for all the new owners uh, involved in the horse, to Barry Irwin, um, to Brass, to Grant Knowles, um, to the whole lot of them. Just big well done to you guys. Yeah, you must be well pleased. And of course, I was asking the wrong gentleman. I should have been asking you, what's the future for Francis Ethel? Because right now, she can't put uh, a foot, uh, a hoof wrong. Yeah, well, I, I think now that she's proven, um, you know, she can run against the best and she can, she can win. Um, you know, we'll be looking at the Durban season going forward, maybe the Will Lavington and then potentially even the July. Very exciting. I can't wait to follow this horse. And well done. Congratulations to, to you and your dad who are here today. And uh, of course, you've got a couple of thank yous to say as well. No, thank you so much. And obviously uh, to the breeders, Marissa Teen and Vilkobos, and uh, to our sponsors, Hollywood Bets. Absolutely. We've got your winning trophy there, uh, James Crawford, from Mike Sharkey, representing Vilkobos Rift and Morris Fontaine. Like I said, I mean, those smiles are because this horse was bred by them as well. So congratulations to you guys. Well done. Uh, can we have the winning connections coming in here as well? Uh, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Deach and Sami uh, and G.S. Knowles, congratulations to you guys. Uh, uh, clearly, by the way that you're dressed today, you came, you came, you meant business. Yeah. We were in business today and uh, uh, what you in the week, uh, we had an offer for the horse. What you, I spoke to my uncle who's my uh, what you, confidant and mentor. And I said, Dad, what do we do? He says, uh, take the money. So we had a good deal, Grand Knowles, gentlemen put, uh, in the horse. And uh, Andrew Forge, I have to thank Andrew Forge because uh, let me just tell you a little bit of this thing. I was never involved in a horse. When he was leaving to Australia, he said, brother, I'm promising you now, it's a machine. Please buy a share, get involved. I bought a share, I increased my share holding <laughs> up to 70. Smart move, smart move. Smart move, goodbye. So, uh, what you goes, these days are not, uh, I mean, I was telling Jonathan, we buy horses, and uh, I tell my wife and my uncle, whatever, we buy horses for these type of days. And uh, what you goes, just to have my uncle with me, for him to uh, what he was, enjoy the moment, he was the one that led away, won the Oaks, uh, what it was called, Cyber Center. Yeah. Uh, what was, Jonathan, what he was, not a friend, a friend of mine, his family, uh, what was, my wife that supports me. And uh, what's next for this horse? I've asked everybody, but I haven't asked you because you increased your ownership. So clearly you've got an idea of what the future is for this horse. This young filly, so, the, so you're saying July. Yeah. So, so, uh, when we spoke to the guys, uh, Mr. Brass and, and, and the new owners, I mean, Barry Owen just won a group one in Dubai. I mean, winning the Oaks is actually nothing for him. But 
the guys told us the plan was July. Uh, maybe another two races for the season. Yeah. Let's take it one step at a time. I have to get my suit together so I can join you guys uh, wherever this horse is going to be going because I'll be following it intently. We have to keep the program going, but we have to hand over the winning trophies wait, 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 as can well. You, can you just give my uncle and Jonathan one minute of... Uh, to say something. A quick one, a quick one to your uncle, but uh, I know you already screamed out July, but right now it's Champions Day and you guys are champions. Yes, Champions Day, we, we planned for Champions Day and th thanks to, J to James and, and, and his dad, uh, we had a discussion and we said we need to win the, on Champions Day because we, we are for the big races. You know, we can, we can win the Maidens and from the Maidens we can go up, but we need to win the July. We second, third, and fourth in the July. The next is win the July. And my dream, and my nephew's dream, is to win the July, and then I will go upstairs. Well, you've made dreams. We've made dreams come true for the champions here of the day. But one second, because we do have to continue the program, but I, I do want to chat to you, sir, because that was one hell of a performance, and I think there's many more to come. You know, uh, when she won, uh, two or three starts back on the inside track and the way she turned it on New Stade away she was a race horse she backed it up 14 days later and on the stand side track and she played with them so I knew today she had a lot in her favor great training feet from James he had a spot on for today and I think there's plenty to come in got to say well done to darling he's put big money in the game he's a gentleman and he deserves every one he gets yeah. don't go anywhere because we've got the winning trophy unfortunately so we've got to bring the trophy in poor Cherise is, is is falling there one second one second for you sir uh, what you was there's a gentleman who was like a father to me a mentor uh what you ask what, like a hero to, to us what you was, i know he's in heaven mr adams this win, I want to dedicate it to you. And I also want to dedicate this win to my sister in the UK. Mr. Adams, God bless you. Congratulations to Mr. Adams as well. Uh, let's bring in the winning uh, tro uh, trophy there for the connections. Congratulations for coming from Mike Sharkey. Congratulations, another group two there. Another group two win for uh, the uh, owners and the ownership and the winning connections of Francis Ethel. I see T. Stanant, my good friend from KZN, has joined us as well. I hope you guys are going to smile for the pictures. This is a big one, a group two, the Wilhelmsdorf Drift, uh, Bridget Oppenheimer, SA Oaks, and the final leg of the Wilhelmsdorf Drift Triple Tiara goes to Francis, Ethel, and the winning connections. Congratulations to everybody involved. Well done.